Hey, Yahweh, Baha Shem, Yashai, Barat Yahweh, Baha Shem, Yahweh Shai. Salvation to the elect, peace, blessings, and honors to all the brothers in this truth. Let's continue to do this work and send those prayers up. And they we going to get into some of the great powers of Yahweh Shai. There's many of them. There's a lot more than what people think, but I'm going to bring out, you know, the ones that's known. But the reason why I want to get into it really is to show that, remember, Yahweh Shai said that those powers that he had, the elect's going to have all those powers. The elect's going to be able to do all those things because he's going to grant those powers into the elect, meaning he's going to give those powers for the elect to do it. The same way his disciples were able to heal and cast out devils because he gave them that power to do that seeing him do it first and then he gave them the power to do it it's the same thing so a lot of people don't understand when they say the elect is going to be beamed up and they're going to be changed and they're going to have these spiritual powers and a lot of people don't understand people say oh well you must think this is a cartoon or something what, what spiritual powers like you think he's going to be doing dragon ball z stuff or you think they're going to be doing you you know you get the point um um avengers and having powers like the x-men and stuff like that and people don't want to believe it and they don't believe that a spiritual power is a thing so i'm gonna go into the book and show you some of the great spiritual things that the lord was that yahweh shai was able to do that no regular man no no man could do matter of fact there was a scripture talking about um by being able to grow yourself taller, an inch taller, or anything like that. If you ain't do, it, if you ain't, if you ain't able to do that, then you ain't no, you ain't got real power. But see, the elect is going to be given that power. We're going to be able to change our our bodies, make ourselves taller, live forever, and not die. Because dying was a sin. So all that, uh, dying was a curse that was put on Adam for sinning. So it was put on all of us. When we get back to the kingdom, we're not going to have those curses on us no more. Meaning that we are going to live forever. You see what I'm saying? But let's bring out a couple scriptures to prove that to back that up some of these great powers you know the um great power of yahweh shai that's going to be given to the elect too so we're going to start with matthews and you know matthews and john and luke have some of the same stories and really have some of the same stories so you could read the same thing in in um in mark or or john but i'm going to um read it in different ones let's start with matthews chapter 14 verse uh, we're not going to read all of it so we're just going to go through verse 22 and we go to like 36 because it's a lot and straightway Yahweh Shai constrained his disciples to get into the ship and to go before him into the other side while he sent the multitudes away and when he had sent the multitudes away he went up into the mountain apart to pray and when the evening was come, he was there alone, right? But the ship was now in the midst of the sea, tossed with the waves, waves, for the wind was contrary. And in the fourth watch of the night, Yahweh went unto them walking on the sea. The man was able to walk on the sea. Is that not spiritual power? Have you ever seen a man walk on water? Well, the elect going to be able to do that. The elect going to be able to swim in water and never have to come back up for air. The elect going to be able to walk on water, command the water to do this. Like the like the avatar, the um, last water water airbender that could control the water, wind, fire, and, and rock, and all the elements. The elect going to be able to do that. The elect going to be avatars. Avatar is the word for elect. Let's keep, let's keep going, though. Let's not get off track and when the disciples saw him walking on a the sea they were troubled saying it is a spirit and they cried out for fear but straightway see they knew there was spirits they they knew about the spirits and stuff because they thought it was a spirit walking so that show you that spirits are true or real too but straight away yahweh shai spake unto them saying be of good cheer it is i be not afraid and peter answered him and said lord if it be thou bid me to come into the water see peter was a rider Peter had a lot of stuff that he was going off, some stuff he was saying, but he was learning, but he was a rider. He said that he he was the one that was like, I'll die with you, Lord. I would never be offended. So, so the world should be offended, but I would never offend. I should die with you. He wanted to die with the Lord. He was a rider, but let's not get off track. Lord, if there be, bid me to come into the water. He used to say, man, I'll come into the water to make sure it's you. You see what I'm saying? And he said, come. And when Peter was down out of the ship, he walked on water to go to Yahweh Shai. 
So not only did the Lord have spiritual power, but he was able to give spiritual power to his disciples, to his men. Because even Peter was able to walk on water, just being just being in belief and being there on the side of the Lord, he was able to walk on water. He got that spiritual power and he let is going to be on the side of the Lord. We're going to follow the Lord everywhere he go. So we're going to have those same spiritual powers that the Lord got. We're going to have the same way that Peter got it. The proof is right here. But when he saw the wind boistering, he was afraid and began to sink. He cried, saying, Lord, save me. And immediately Yahweh stretched forth his hand and caught him and said unto him, O thou of little faith, wherefore this thou doubt? And when they were coming into the ship, the wind ceased. Then that then they that were in the ship came and worshipped him, saying, Of a truth, thou art the son of Yahweh. And when they were gone over they came into the land of Jezreel, and when the man of the place had knowledge of him, they sent out all the country around about and bought unto him all that were diseased, and besought him that they that the might only touch the hand of his garment, and as many of them touched were made perfectly whole. So these people were made perf perfectly righteous, perfectly whole with this truth meaning by just touching his garment. He was able to command the winds to stop. He was able to walk on water. He was able to give Peter spiritual power to walk on water with just him having a little bit of faith. So imagine what the elect is going to get to have all the faith in the world. Because remember, Peter walked with him. Peter was there to see him do these miracles. So that was it. Me being a man, it's easier for me to believe if I'm sitting there with the man and watching him do these miracles. The elect was with him from the beginning too. But right now, our lives right now, the generation that we in right now, we ain't seen the Lord for our own eyes. Some brothers have seen chariots, but we ain't seen the Lord for our own eyes and we still believe and we still have faith. So imagine how much faith it takes to have to believe in something, to follow something if you ain't even seen the man. That's great faith. And Peter was able to walk on water with just a little bit of faith. With just a little faith, he was able to walk on water. So imagine the elect that got great faith. They got great belief without even seeing the man in person or seeing him do these miracles in person. So the powers that we going to get is going to be crazy. I say we hoping that I'm a part of that, you know, praying every night that I'm a part of that, praying for salvation for the elect. But those, but those powers, those spiritual powers, you can only imagine how great they're going to be. Let's move on. Mark 6. Uh, let's go to start at verse 37. He answered and said unto them, Give ye them to eat. And they say unto him, Shall we go and buy two hundred penny worth of bread and give to them to eat? He said unto them, How many loavers have ye? Go and see. And when they knew, they say five and two fishes. And he commanded them to make all sit down by companies upon the green grass. And they sat down in ranks by the hundreds and by fifties. And when he had taken the five loavers and the two fish, and he looked up to the heavens, he looked up to Yahweh, and blessed and break the Yeho and break the lovers and gave them to his disciples to set before them. And the two fish divided he among them all. Remember all of them, but let's get some more context. And they did eat, and they did all eat and were filled. And they took up twelve baskets full of fragments and of fishes. And they that did eat of the lovers were about five thousand men. This man, come on. And then this goes back into him walking on the water, which is a mark. But he fed 5,000 men with, what was it, five lovers and two fishes? He broke it up. When he put it up to the heavens, that's that spiritual power that came in. He commanded that spiritual power. He multiplied the food. And then he fed 5,000 men, bro, with five lovers and only two fishes. He fed 5,000 men. That spiritual power, the elect want to know, man, how we going to eat when the chip, when the, when the mark of the beast come out? How we going to eat in those days? Man, the Lord, the Lord can give you one bread and that could last you for, and that could last you until the end time, until you beamed up into the cherry, that one piece of bread. 
you see what I'm saying? Our spiritual power. There's no way else to explain it that we can understand. There might be different words for it, different understandings for it, but the way that we understand it is power. It's spiritual power. It's something out of the norm that a regular man can't do. That's spiritual power right there. So we got that walking on the sea. We got um the people touching this garment and they being made whole. We got feeding 5,000 men. Let's keep going Um, get more. We in Luke chapter 24 verse um five five through ten and as they were afraid and bowed down their faces to the earth they uh, let me get my camera back right i'm sorry about that and as they were afraid and bowed down their faces to the earth they said unto them why see ye the living among the dead is is he not here but is risen remember how he spake unto you when when he was Yet in Gilly, saying the Son of Man must be delivered into the hands of sinful men and be crucified, and on the third day rise again. So on the third day, everybody know this story. The man rose again from being crucified, from having death. He gave up the ghost. He died. And he was able to come back to life. So really, death, he didn't have that curse of death on him because he was able to come back. And he risen again. The elect going to get that power. If we go down, which we're not going to be able to die, but let's just say some, some by some way we in combat and we go down, you're going to be able to raise right back up, like revive. You're going to revive yourself. Be right back up and living again and, and raise again. That's spiritual power. No regular man could do that. That's spiritual power right there. It has to be spiritual power because no regular man could do it. You see what I'm saying? Let's jump over to John um, chapter 2, um, 1 through 11. Let's read it real quick. And the third day there was a marriage in Cana and Gilead, and the mother of Yahawashai was there, and both Yahawashai was called and his disciples to the marriage. And when they when they wanted wine, the mother of Yahawashai said unto him, They have no wine. You ain't got no wine, man. Yahawashai said unto her, Woman, what have I to do with thee? My hour is not yet to come. His mother say unto the servants, Whosoever he say unto you, do it. Right? Let's um skip a little bit. And Yahushai said unto them, Fill the water pots with water. And they filled them up to the brim. And he, and he say unto them, Draw out now and bear unto the governor for of, of the feast. And they bear it. And when the ruler of the feast had tasted the water that was made wine, he knew not whence it was. But the servants which drew the water knew the governor of the feast called the bridegroom. And he said unto him, Every man at the beginning doth set forth good wine. And when the man have well drunk, then that which is worse, but thou hast kept up the good wine until now. And the beginning of miracles did Yahawashai in, in Cana and in, in Gilead. And manifest forth his glory, and his disciples believed on him. Because he turned water into wine, man. We could do that by, you know, adding stuff, sitting down, breaking some um wine, um, olives, wine grapes down, and putting a little alcohol. But he did it, he did it right off back. He literally they they only put water. They didn't say they had anything else. They said they had only water. And he turned that water into wine. So you're going to be able to turn elements into different things, man, by just using your brain, just using your mind. They say we only use like, what, 10, 8 percent of our brain. So imagine being able to have 100 percent of your brain that you could use. You're going to be able to do crazy stuff like watch the movie Limitless when you ain't got when you ain't got no limits on how, how much of your brain you could use. Man, you're going to be able to turn and shape different things and, and turn the elements like the avatar, like the last airbender. You're going to be able to do that, man. The elect going to have these same powers that Yahawashai had. But these are the great powers of Yahawashai. And there's so many more that we yet to even understand that we yet to even see. Let's jump to um, John. We're going to go to John. Da, 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 where we at? Chapter 9. One through seven. And Yahawashai passed by, and he saw the man which was blind from birth. And his disciples asked him, saying, Master, who did sin, this man or his parents, that he was born blind? And this is um, re this is showing you reincarnation in the Bible. You got to understand it. You, either you got it or you don't. Yahawashai answered, Neither hath the man sinned nor his parents, but that the works of Yahweh should be made manifest in him. I must work. 
the works of him that sent me why it is the day and the night coming no man can work let's um, skip a little bit oh yeah start right there and the, and the neighbors thereof and they which before had seen him that was blind said it is not that he he that sat in back some said this is he others said he is like him but he said i i am he therefore he said unto him how were thy eyes open he answered and said a man that is called yahweh shai made clay and anointed my eyes and said unto me go to the pool of Siloam and wash and I went and wash and I received sight so the man was able to give man a blind man and give him vision that's that's super that's super powers man that's great powers that's spiritual power there ain't no way to explain it. you can't go do that yeah there's some doctors that could break down the eye cut it open you know do laser surgery and stuff like that but this man was able to do this you gotta think about the times they was in the things they had the things they didn't have and he was able to perform these miracles right away right up right above people he was healing people he's doing great things great wonders and great power spiritual power in the bible let's jump to john um chapter 11 um, let's start from 37 and let's just read the 44 and we're going to end it there. And some of them said, come not this man which opened the eyes of the blind. See, have caused that even this man should not have died. See, Yahweh shy therefore again growing into itself coming into the grave. It was a cave and a stone lay upon it. Yahweh shy said, take ye away the stone. Martha, the sister of him that was dead, say unto him, Lord, by this time he stink he stinketh, for he has been dead four days. Man, stink, man. Yahweh Shai said unto, unto her, Said I not unto thee that if thou wouldest believe, thou shouldest see the glory of Yahweh? Then then they took away the stone from the place where the dead was laid, and Yahweh Shai lifted up his eyes and said, Father, I Father, I thank thee that thou hast heard me. Man, everything come from Yahweh because Yahweh Shai was given the power from Yahweh and then he going to give thee let the power. And I knew that thou hears me always, but because of the people which stand by, I said it, that they may believe that thou hast sent me. And when he thus has spoken, he cried with a loud voice, Lazarus, come forth. And he that was dead came forth, bound hand and foot with gray clothes and his face was bound about with a napkin and how was I say unto them loose him and let him go so the man was able to bring Lazarus uh yeah Lazarus back to life from dead the man was literally dead for four days and he stank and he was able and Yahweh how was I looking up to the heavens again talking to the father Ask the father to grant him that power because the father has the power over, you know, the different spirits because every spirit that's even on earth belongs to the Lord. Every human, everything belongs to Yahweh and it was given to Yahweh Shai. The kingdom was given to Yahweh Shai from Yahweh. He was able to ask Yahweh for that great power to bring a man back, back from de death and he was able to command the man by just saying some words, man. And great power was able to bring a dead man back to life. And everybody witnessed it. And it's in the Bible. That's great spiritual power. A normal man can't do that. Yo, doctors, yo, scientists, they uh, can revive, man. Sometimes they say man died for a split second or a couple minutes. They were able to bring him back by getting his heart back to pump. But this man was dead for four days. They not bringing man back that's dead for four days and bringing somebody back to life. You dead for a couple a couple minutes. Did they get your heart back pumping? They able to bring you back to life. But to bring a man that was dead for four straight days and stank it back to life, that's spiritual power. No normal man could do that. No scientist, no doctor could do that right now. They were able to bring a man back to life, man. That's what that's what Yahweh Shai was able to do. That spiritual power and elect would be getting that spiritual power. All praise to the most high, all praise to Yahweh. Bahashim Yahweh Shai Bahashim Barak Bahash Bahashim Yahweh Shai Salvation to the Elect. I'm sorry, I was stumbling over my words, Salaki. But yeah, salvation to the elect. Keep, continue to doing doing that work. Peace out. Salam.